Yep, we are into week three of my mobile obsession. We pitted mobile graphics versus their desktop and console counterparts. I shared my love for the move toward getting premium games on mobile platforms. And now I feel like I need to address a few issues facing the acquisition of games. The Apple App Store is not the best experience, especially on iPad. Google Play is slightly better in some respects, especially around the social edges. But we are going to focus on Apple's offering here. The App Store is fairly ubiquitous. Anyone who has used an iOS device has likely experienced it. There have been minor feature ads and revamps over time, but it is shockingly similar to how it was at launch over six years ago. It's feeling a little rough around the edges and is woefully inadequate for the size of the market it serves and the breadth of apps and games on offer. Discoverability is a huge issue for the App Store, and it simply feels extremely bare bones when compared to something like Steam's setup. We need more than top charts and rotating lists of editors' choice picks. To be fair, Steam is a service that is almost solely dedicated to games, and even it isn't perfect. It has its own issues related to discoverability, especially with the recent opening of the floodgates to smaller titles, but there are a lot of great things happening here. The front page has a featured section, recently updated section, and a tabbed list section for new releases, top sellers, coming soon, and specials. Just as important, each game's page is extremely robust, offering all kinds of media, user reviews, a dedicated community section, news and update details, and more. It makes each game feel important, or at least gives them a chance to. The App Store by comparison has very little of this. The front page has various different editor's choice scrolls covering new releases, updates, and current and previous picks. There are also a number of random genre-based click-through banners like fun shooters and game collections. Individual game pages get five screenshots, a description, basic info, and version history information. There is also a section for user reviews, but no sort of community section. It all feels rather clinical. The straight details are there, but there is nothing around the edges to entice or excite. No place for games or developers to present a unique character and set themselves apart. So what does the App Store need? Here are three things I would like to see implemented. Treat games like stars. Give the game pages space and make them all about the games. The modal pop-ups that constitute app pages on the App Store on iPad are a joke. I understand the choice so users understand their place in the store design-wise, but it's the easiest route to making this happen, and it's extremely inelegant. Give the games the full screen to breathe and shine. If you only give them half the screen, it gives the impression that that's all they deserve. This is less of a problem on iPhone, but you could still lose some of the top and bottom menu cruft. The apps and games are the stars. Treat them like it. Give us a community. This is a huge strength of Steam, and it serves many functions. It creates a space for people to enjoy and share in their fandom. It provides a place for people to find out more about a game before they buy it. It can be a place to go when you need some tips or help, and it ultimately makes a game feel bigger than just an app you downloaded. It also lives outside of your device and your experience. I want to see screenshots of crazy achievements and particularly beautiful parts of games. I want to jump into game-specific forums and see what has people excited about a certain title. These things are valuable, and are things that would not only be great for users, but great for Apple. Guess what? If that was built into the experience, I would spend a lot more time in the App Store. And while we're talking about community, a Steam-like customizable profile page would be amazing too. Give developers power. Developers should have the ability to build their own pages for their libraries and individual games. Loosen the design reins a bit and let developers sell their experiences. I often find myself enjoying a game, hitting that more from this developer menu, and being dumped into an unordered list of icons of all the developers' releases with no context. Allow developers to create their own mini storefronts that highlight their best games and set a tone for what you can expect from them. Developers want to sell their games. Let them do it. The current implementation is the most bare-bones approach, and it feels like that. And the big problem here is that this bare-bones feel carries over to almost every aspect of the App Store. There are other minor things that make the App Store experience less than great, but Apple is set to address some of them. In the June keynote reveal of iOS 8, Apple CEO Tim Cook touched on some of the forthcoming improvements, and there are a few key ones such as app bundles and better search on the way. Best of all, 
Also confirmed for iOS this fall, support for trailers in the screenshot section. Thank God. Ultimately, I just want the App Store to be usable, fun, and focused on the content. If Apple can find elegant ways to wrap community around the experience like Valve does with Steam, that would be great. I like shopping. I like perusing new games. I like learning about new experiences that may be up my alley. The App Store could be more than a necessity, it could be a hub and destination in its own right if done correctly. And as a cornerstone of every iOS device, and the primary money maker for the platforms, frankly I'm surprised it hasn't received more attention over the years. That's my two cents on the App Store. What are your thoughts? Are things much better on the Android side? Thanks for watching. I've been Jonathan Downen for Fish Tuxedo. Please do hit that like button if you're feeling it, and for the extra generous, share this on your social network of choice. And you might as well subscribe too. Now, game on. Later.